Hi Capricorn, this is your um, weekly oracle. Um, so I'm going to start with Astrodice, see what houses will be active um, or most influential for you guys this week. Number 9, 9th house, 10th house, and 8th house. So this is Scorpio, Sagittarius, and your career. House of Capricorn. Um, if you guys have questions about romance, I actually have a little pile here to answer your question. Um, and then we have the angel um, message and uh, the wisdom oracle. But let me start with, I have like so many clarifiers here because when I was pulling this up earlier, like I got so confused. Um, like the story was unfolding crazily and I just um, had to know. So, it looks like someone got tempted here. Um, I think this person's probably very, um, not innocent in a way, but I'm not going to say not educated, but maybe he has not, like, this person has not come out of his comfort zone like he or he or she likes to just stay um in one place like they don't probably um like probably comes from a small city or just likes to be alone all the time but for some reason this apple had a ripple effect with this person and it came with a series of consequences from then on, um, I don't know if it's you or the other person you're dealing with or someone close to you, um, it's been the battle of the wills, secretly. That's the problem, like someone's strategizing behind your back or you're doing this to get out of the cage because um, you're trapped. And this infinity it feels like this has been going on for a while. Um, maybe eight years even. Um, the only way to get out was to tame, like to pretend and um, tame that aggression inside of you. Or the person you're dealing with um, saving money and then the cage and I had to uh, clarify what the cage was and it came with health health conscious doctor visits working out or dieting so I had to clarify what the apple was um, So it's the main male. I don't know if it's uh, you or the person you're dealing with, but it's carrying a masculine energy. Pathway, adjudication, sudden wealth, thoughts, unwealthy man. Okay, um, male one here. Um, like the butterflies are flying away towards their freedom, towards the light. And it looks like the only way to achieve that is to, I don't know if it's have a divorce or get away from a business deal. But from the looks of it, it's sort of like romance and business deal at the same time and through the divorce or the breakup of the business wealth will come this person will have extra money but for the time being this is just like a strategy the person's still strategizing to become an independent person this is basically the emperor with the B, I had to wait. Actually, I had to clarify 
what the um the chest was as well um so it's a lucrative idea by you if you're the capricorn um that would grow into like something like that would be a legacy that would last until you're like you know like until you're old and whatnot and it's family business so it could actually support a lot of people so with B I clarified that with great fortune so that's eight so eight is the house of Scorpio so that's money acquired through marriage or through a partner so that's the only way this person could acquire it is to have that but it looks like this person's strategizing behind i'll just say you are back so it'll be easier for me um to relay the message um so great fortune and then for some reason the fortune got scorched it's gone maybe it went bust or literally it got um there was a fire there um so that's depression after the business so both couple were in depression i don't know if i'm just like a male and female i don't know if uh that could be two males or two females and with the dragon untamed nature aggression upon powers i clarified that with again with the depression a little bit it's very somber and then it got picked up with joyfulness pleasure seekers okay okay letter of concern so from the depression here the only way to deal with the misfortune is to seek pleasure and be indulgent in a sense so partying with people so this could be getting involved with addiction yeah let me look at this <coughs> excuse me okay so someone stepped out oh definitely i don't know if it's oh so it's open so both of them stepped out i see so that so there was technically a disconnect here but okay so let's look at the trapped sad news a rich girl so the rich girl rich man looks like they're not uh, okay there's illness 13 14 so it looks like the the male the masculine energy in this relationship is sick getting weird it looks like the apple is here again it looks like someone's poisoning the ma the masculine energy what is that 
meditation. So he kept eating the apple after the first bite. He kept going back to the tree. So what the hell? So that got him sick. So this is about like a family with open relationship here, maybe business partners that became friends, but are also involved physically, I don't know. But someone is sick here. Okay, I had to pull out cards for what happens for the health here because I, I don't know why that I just wanted to know. Um simple tarot. Okay, nine of swords reversed. Okay, so whoever was sick here um had to walk away. It was costing him literally his life. The sun is shining right there. He's going towards, he or she's going towards the sun. Okay, and for reversed. He's not in his full power, but it's okay. He had, um, had enough cojones to leave. Knight of Swords, going towards passions justice seven of pentacles okay rebuilding strength yes definitely it's the only way you could find balance um okay so there's victory with freedom narwhals so just keep on going. I don't know if it's you planning your escape because the, it got too crowded. Um, whoa, that was crazy though. That's a lot of cards. But let me look at the, um, the career. King of Wands. Eight of Cups. Walking away. Okay. For a while, there will be a fluctuation of money because you're going to be trying to juggle maybe paying bills or probably finding a place, finding yourself in the world when, you know, right after divorce or leaving a very long committed relationship would be very um, discombobulating for someone. So, so just take it slowly. Um, for your chakra, peace and stillness, the answer will be revealed clear quartz. And your romance. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. Positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will be will bring rewards and major purchase is worth making. Health. An excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. Okay, that's awesome. These are such good news. Trying to do these. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You've finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. Travel. An upcoming trip proves to be life changing in positive ways. Yes, go travel, go hiking somewhere and 
in the Alps. I don't know. <laughs> Just get out. Oh my God, this is so chaotic. Spring, your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. That's beautiful. Um, for your wisdom, Oracle. Opportunity, snake. You are on the right track. It's an opportune time. You are a wise soul and a practical strategist. Know your motives and anticipate the successful outcome before you make your move. Keep it cool. I could hear vigilant. Power, dragon. Oh, the dragon's there. The snake wasn't there, but then the apple and the snake usually go hand in hand. Okay. Smooth soaring ahead. You can lead with authority and mystical power. You're blessed with innate courage, tenacity, and sophistication, but you are your greatest challenge. Refrain from self-criticism and doubt. Ultimate success is predestined. The way. Lousy. You are in the right place at the right time. Stay grounded. Avoid extremes because it could change. Abandon false praise and people will be truthful. Shun formality and people will be sincere. Forsake cleverness and people will be kind to each other. It's beautiful. Moon, Chang Er, you are wandering between a jubilant world of fantasy and reality. All is not as it seems. Enjoy the sensuality, sensitivity, and the current energy brings. Yet the heightened emotions may not be stable, so avoid making big decisions at this time. Like. The first card is just be a practical strategist, so keep it cool. Avoid making big decisions. And lastly, uh, no, this is second to the last. What you have to surrender. Surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in, rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can be, this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Surrender to full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Okay, so those people that, like, the madness here, it actually kept you from your full potential, so there's a reason for that happening if you're going through it now I'm so sorry that this is such chaotic energy um, please stay grounded and think of the good things distract yourself by like reading books movies um, going out with your friends um, just keep busy so you don't dwell and think of this Dreams. Share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them reality. Engagement ring, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So if this is not your story, the whole background here, um, if you guys are in a healthy relationship, this, or you guys are having a break, um, you guys are probably um, heading towards um, stability with your person. I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun flirting, want to date. In the near future, number 13. What is with 13? Maybe you guys are born the 13th? One oh one, you will stay together. So for those asking, um, if you want to get back with your person, sixty five trust will be rebuilt. All right, Capricorn, this is what I have for you. Um, good luck with all of this, um, and have a good week. Thank you.